Hi everyone and welcome back to our series on Gravity Forms Better User Activation. In the last video, we went over how to create your registration form and feed. So if you need help with either of those, go ahead and click the link at the top of the screen to be brought up to speed. In this video, we're going to go over how to create and customize that user activation notification, which is the email that they'll receive with an activation link that they click to activate their account. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is head back to our user registration feed and make sure that we have the right user activation settings selected at the bottom here. We wanna make sure that we have manually or by form notifications selected here from the dropdown so that the email that we're about to create actually gets sent to the user. Now, if we head to the top of our feed and hover over settings, we can click notifications. Next, we wanna click add new on the right. Now we can call this notification whenever we want. I'm gonna go with email activation. Next, for the event dropdown, we want to do user is pending activation. This means this notification will get sent out anytime a new pending user activation is created. Next, for the send to parameter, we want to select select a field. This allows us to click this drop down and select email, which is the email field that was in the registration form, which contains the email address that the user signed up with. This is the email address that we want to receive our pending activation notification. Next, we're going to see a few inputs that are pretty standard in creating an email. Information like from name, from email, reply to, subject, and message. This is where we really get to customize what that email is going to look like to our user who's looking to activate their account. Now you can fill out these fields with whatever makes sense to you. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and put from name is car club. And for the subject, I'm going to put activate your car club account. Now there are a lot of ways that we can customize this message. Everything from standard styling like headings and pictures to variables that's connected to the data that the user entered once they registered. We can click on this icon right next to add media to get access to all of these variables. So for example, if we wanted to use the person's name in the message, we could say, hey, and then click this and click name first. And there we go. Now it's gonna say, hey, and then the first name of the person who registered for an account. So remember that the most important part of our message is that activation link that our users will click to activate their account. So to insert that, we just go up and click, scroll all the way down and click user activation URL. Then you can add some additional instruction or whatever you like to the end of your message. And we can go down and click update notification. All right, now when we head to our email, we should see that activation email. We can click it. And here's that custom email message we wrote with the first name of our user and also our activation link. If we go ahead and click that, and there we go, our account is now active. Now this is a pretty primitive activation page, but we're gonna fix that in the next video. And just like that, we have a custom user registration notification email that gets sent out to our user after they register for an account. In the next video, we're gonna go over how to assign and customize the page that our users will land on once they click that activation link. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.